So we're back in the Grease and Gears garage today. We're working on final assembly for the Twisted T-Hopper and it brings up a neat little thing to show you. You know, everybody talks about, I have a little lathe, a little, you know, machine lathe, um, and I make my own wall spacers. But has anyone actually got into the science and math that's involved in making these? Probably not. If you're like me, you don't want to admit when you don't know anything. So you'll do what I did for a long time and just, hey, I need it to be this long. I'll just keep edging away on the lathe until it gets around that. Well, from the beginning, you can start out taking accurate measurements. If you learn a few things along the way, how to read some of the equipment, transfer that to the machine, you can dial right into what you need your final material to be. It goes a lot faster and it makes a lot more sense. So to do that, we're starting off with our known variable, which I use some of these spacer kits from lowbrow or other companies you can get them and I determined that my overall spacer length needs to be the combination of these three spacers. What I'll need to do is take the overall length, divide that in half, it'll give me my two spacers for both sides. Now lowbrow also makes these nice spacer blank material that you can cut your pieces off of. You can see here I've already done that with one side just to proof all my math before I start this. But uh the thing you're going to need as far as additional tools, you definitely need a caliper. Unfortunately for the spacers in the front of the bike, they're going to be the overall of both spacers will be more than five inches. Most standard calipers that you get from, you know, Harbor Freight or what have you are going to be a five inch variety. They also sell these ones that this one goes the whole way up to a foot. So we're going to be using this one today, doing my measurement of my overall length of the the combined spacers i come up with five and five hundred and forty thousandths that is our overall so let's go over the board i'm going to go through the math i'm going to show you how to transfer that to my particular lathe and i'm going to show you how to identify on your lathe what those numbers will be okay so in my shop um rather than keep scraps of paper and stuff around I have a nice dry erase board where I do all of this kind of stuff. So at any given time, you'll see things that I need to order, math problems that I'm figuring out. They're all up here where I can see them as I go in and out of the shop to remind myself of what needs done and what I've done, what I'm working on. We're going to start here with the, um, the simple problem that we have spacers that are 5.540. 5 and 540 thousandths. Because this is going to be two spacers, I want to divide this number by two. That's going to give me 2.770 or 2 and 770 thousandths. This is going to be my left and right wheel spacer size. So the easiest way for me to do this is to cut a piece of the stock material at three inches. So I'll have room to come down to my final measurement. So we'll come down here and say my stock material is going to be three inches to start out with. Three inches minus what my finished number should be for my stock to be cut to. Three inches minus two and seven hundred seventy thousandths gives us two hundred and thirty thousandths. That's how much of a cut that I'll need to make off of that three inch piece of stock material. Now. On my particular lathe, let me take this out of the way. My particular lathe, when you look at the, the handle, and I'm just gonna draw this fast to, for the sake of explaining it to you guys. On the barrel of the handle, there are all kind of little hash marks that go around the barrel, and we'll take you over and show you this in a second. Each one of those barrel corresponds to the actual head of the machine, and in this case, moving into the chuck. Each one of these hash marks, I know on my machine, and I'll show you how I know that, represents 20 thousandths. So every time the arrow goes from one hash mark to the other, as I'm turning that, I'm cutting 20 thousandths of the material. So knowing that that 20 thousandths of the material is what I'm doing and I need to get to 230 thousandths, I need a little over 10. When you do the math, it actually works out to 11.5. So 11.5 of those hash marks to take my three inch piece of material down to two and 770 thousandths. I'm gonna remove 230 thousandths material off of my three inch piece 
and that's going to give me my 230 here and the exact piece that I need for my wheel spacers. So let's go over the lathe. I'll show you some of that. Okay, on my lathe, and most lathes have these, these indicators, you can see it's telling me between my hash marks that there's a space of 20 thousandths. That's how I got the first number for that. So that means every time I move to one of those hash marks, I've moved in or out from the chuck 20 thousandths. So when I said that I need to do 11 and a half, it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 1 half. And that's going to give me my 230 thousandths removed from the material. So I'll show you guys that real quick, and then we'll go over the process of cleaning up the end, and we'll be ready with our freshly cut wheel spacers. So you can see almost at the... The ridge of that is where my three inch mark is going to be. So I got a little line there. I'm going to load it into the lathe. Okay, so for this operation, I'm going to use a part separator. Um, one of the nice things is this is aluminum, so we can cut pretty fast. So I've already set the speed because I told you guys I'm doing the, the uh, this is the second run for me on this. Make sure where we're at and everything's gonna clear. Here's the deal about part separators. Sometimes they work really good for me, sometimes not. It's a science and it takes a while to get used to. I use some uh, vegetable friendly cooling fluid, vegetable friendly, you know what I mean. Okay, so there's our piece. We can get rid of our part separator. Move to left-handed cutter there's our extra piece that came off in case no one's ever told you this do not grab this stuff as the head of this chuck is spinning unless you're not real fond of your fingers okay so I'm just gonna double check where I'm at with my measurement 297 so 297, 2970, and we're trying to get down to 2770. This number, never mind that anymore, because now instead of having a three inch piece of stock, we have two and 970 thousandths. We want to get down to two and 770 thousandths. That leaves us with. 200 thousandths. So what we learn about our 20,000, if we go back up here now and make this an even 10, that gives us 200 thousandths. So now we need to move 10 times, 10 hash marks on the lathe, and we're all good with our size. I've set my material so that when I come up and touch it, it's corresponding to a, a dead line, like I'm actually on the line with my indicator. I'm going to make sure I'm tightened up and ready to go there. And now I'll back off of the material just a little bit and come to the outside. Let's see where I'm at. One. Two, three, four, five, six.
seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. The burying tool. Be very careful with this. And that should be, everything feels good there, no sharps. Okay, so that gives me two and 769 thousandths. So I'm one thousandth away, that's plenty close. Okay, so there you can see our our two spacers that are cut to the exact size we need. If I put them down here with my, my uh, mock-up spacers, it's exactly the same. Leaves me two leftover pieces that I can make the rear wheel spacers with where I can put them in the box. These are my three-quarter spacer stock that I use for mock-up and stuff. So we'll take all of these back apart now and put those away for another build another day and I can put my good spacers on the axle ready to go. All right, so we're ready to put the front end on here with the, the uh, Twisted T Hopper. Until next time, this is Chris in the Grease and Gears garage for Grease and Gears TV. Get out in the garage and do something with your motorcycle. It's that easy.